All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to integrate from 2 to 5 x cubed minus 7x squared plus 10x dot dx. So this is going to become x to the power of 4 over 4 minus 7x to the power of 3 over 3 plusing 1 dividing it by that. Plusing 1 dividing it by that. Plusing 1 dividing it by that. So that's going to be plus 5x squared. And then we keep that from 2 to 5. We then go 5 to the power of 4 over 4 minus 7 times 5 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 5 times 5 squared. And we take that and we subtract now our starting point, which is 2. So we're going to go 2 to the power of 4 over 4 minus 7 times 2 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 5 times 2 to the power of 2 all in another bracket like that. Once we have that, then we put that into a calculator and we work it out slowly but surely and we eventually get to our final answer there. So it's going to be on the calculator 5 to the power of 4 over 4 minus 7 times 5 to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus 5 times 5 squared minus 2 to the power of 4 over 4 minus 7 times 2 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 5 times 2 squared comes to an answer is negative 63 over 4, which is basically equal to negative 15.75. Make sure you put your brackets in there carefully. And now you found the definite integral. All right, call this. We haven't calculated the area under the curve. We found the sum of the areas, which is, ends up as a negative value. If we have to find the area under the curve, we have to break it up into its x-intercepts first, and then add the absolute values of the areas after that.